Hello everyone. Um, it's been a long time uh, that I have posted any new videos on any of the new systems. I have been receiving a lot of uh, um, comments, uh, requests from most of my subscribers that they want to uh, to watch videos on uh, the central nervous system and head and neck. Um, and uh, unfortunately, due to my busy schedule, I was unable to make the video series on the head and neck and the nervous system. But here I am, and I have a plan uh, throughout this summer. I am going to make step-by-step uh, -step, uh, uh, videos uh, or lectures on the central nervous system and uh, the entire uh, gross anatomy of the head and neck. Uh, so my uh, approach will be that I will start from the osteology of uh, skull, which uh, is basically housing the, uh, the nervous system, the central nervous system. Um, and, uh, and then from there on, I'll move on to the soft tissue uh, that includes the brain, its uh, blood vessels supplying uh, the tissue, the coverings of brain. The cells, uh, the microscopic anatomy, the, that means the, the main players of the nervous system, which are the neurons and the supporting cells and then different functional areas of the brain and uh, so on. Uh, as far as the head and neck is concerned, I am going to uh, start from the uh, visceral uh, which is the, in, in general, in layman's terms, we call it the face or the facial skeleton. And uh, there are very important, uh, vital, clinically vital uh, spaces located in our face, which hold a lot of uh, uh, blood vessels and nerves, and they're playing a very important role. So I'll be keep on uh, describing each and every space of, of the face and then I'll move down to the neck region. Neck is the connection, uh, which is also known as the cervix or the cervical region because it is connecting the globe of our body that is the cranium or the skull, uh, all the contents of the skull and, uh, um, and the face, which is the visceral cranium. Uh, to our uh, lower body, that is the torso. So the neck is a conduit. It is like a channel through which structures will be climbing up to the uh, to the skull uh, and the face, and some of structures will be coming down from the skull and the face uh, down to the thoracic cavity, uh, which is holding the other vital organs. Uh, and the most important one is the heart, which we just have covered briefly, like in in a nutshell. So. Uh, yeah, so this is just a small briefing about my future plans related to the head and neck and the, the central nervous system anatomy. Uh, having said that, I, uh, like a, a couple of months ago, I developed uh, a baseline of, like I would say, an overview, a broad overview of uh, the, the nervous system. Um, it's a video, uh, it's like almost 30 minutes long video. Unfortunately, it is still in the raw raw form. It's not edited, but I am going to post that raw uh, clip onto uh, my channel uh, for your view. And just uh, ignore uh, that it is not uh, properly edited and uh, watch it. I'm I'm pretty sure that it is it'll be creating a like a good concept. Like uh, it basically, I have um, um, uh, recorded that lecture for the people who are uh, unaware of the anatomy of uh, the, the nervous system. So for, it's basically for the beginners. But everybody can watch uh, that video, people who want to, uh, to review, uh, to, uh, they want a quick review. Anyway, so uh, this is my message for today. And uh, I'm pretty sure and I'm hopeful that you will be watching me delivering the lectures on head and neck and the nervous system. Um, in the subsequent weeks. So don't worry and uh, uh, have a happy, great weekend. Uh, we'll be in touch. Please drop your comments in the comment box. Uh, even if you have any comments on this video, which I just am uh, making and will be posting it on to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye.